Hello all. <clears throat> Hope you've had a good week. Happy Friday. Hope you're going to have a great weekend. Got something I wanted to share, wanted to show. This is the latest project I just finished up for my friend Will. Um, holster for a Chiapa Rhino, or Chiapa, I don't know how you want to pronounce it. But uh, this one's set up very similar to the one that I have for my little 38, where you can wear it on uh, right side, strong side. You can put it on uh, left side for a cross draw, and you can do both sides. It's ambidextrous the way the holster's set up. Let me pull it off and I'll show you. The uh, way this holster is set up and designed, it uh, has the, the slots that when you want, you can put this over on your right side or your left side and do a right hand cross draw. Uh, same thing on the other side. So ambidextrous, got an ambidextrous strap, and you would think that might be you know, an issue. Uh, but it's not. When you've got this mounted on your belt and it's up against your side, it holds that in good and tight. Makes it real easy to just pop that one free. And uh, you got two options. You can put it over the back of the handle, or there's enough stretch in it that you can put it over the uh, the hammer. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these rhinos. They are really uh, a unique pistol. And uh, this slides out pretty good. It's a little tight. It's going to be stiff for a few days. Um, but these things have the barrel under the cylinder and uh this is pretty much set up you know so that you've got your normal sight radius and uh the holes in there i guess for lightning and for for looks it's got this uh you know, kind of squared off cylinder and uh this is the cylinder release open her up this thing shoots 357s um it'll do 38s 38 plus i'm sure and uh you got moon clips and you can even do nine millimeter in this thing it's pretty darn slick now, sights are pretty awesome. They're a uh, fiber optic, and they go the whole way through, so they light up. And uh, this was take <laughs> this took a little bit to get used to. You think of the hammer that uh, you know it's striking up here. It's not. The hammer is striking down here. This is really just a, a cocking handle, and when you cock it, you get a little red indicator that pops up to let you know that it is cocked. And uh, boy, it has a sweet trigger. Uh, really nice. I really appreciate uh, Will letting me use this to. Uh, to make this holster to form it up and uh, it didn't get quite as much forming as I was hoping for uh, I used a thicker leather uh, than I did in the prototype so didn't quite show as much of the forms but maybe over use and time it'll uh, it'll settle in there so it's got an open toe it's got a, uh, a channel that's molded in there for the front sight so that it uh, won't uh, stick won't give them any trouble we did the, the best we could on some nice black stitching got a good smooth edge and uh, I'm hoping that I can get this to him. Uh, if not tonight, we'll uh, we'll definitely try to get it down there over the weekend. Or I'm always in there Monday nights with uh, you know after my son's class. So just thought I'd share that with you. Hope to uh, see some of you tonight on the Georgia Shooting Connection. I'll uh, certainly be in the side chat hanging out. Thanks all. Bye.